Pac-12 player of the year? Um, it feels good, you know, to just get recognized by, you know, the Pac-12. You know, last year was a bummer, but you know, this year's a great year, and uh, I just feel just feel proud of myself. Big smile on your face. Did you think that you were going to get it this year after your performances? Um, I think I was pretty close to beginning. I think it was me and Ball towards the end. Uh, you know, he's a great player, tremendous player. And we had our little battles and stuff, and I guess just the community chose me. Jordan Bell, Defensive Player of the Year. I mean, what have you seen out of your teammate all season to get uh, that award? Too? Well deserving. Uh, you know, he does it all: block shots, gets steals, rebounds the basketball at a high rate. So uh, you know, he's well deserving for sure. Heading, heading into the Pac-12 tournament now, Dana said that you guys just kind of need to swing away. What is that that mindset you guys are trying to have headed today? Um, just to follow what you know he's been telling us all year. You know, to rebound, uh, limit our turnovers, and share the basketball. Um, when we do those, uh, we blow out teams. And if we do two of those things, you know, the game spread pretty close. And our most downfall right now is rebounding. So you know, we have to really focus on that because we know that you know we can't survive in. Uh, especially in, in three games straight back to back and, and, and in the March Madness as well. Dylan, how did you find out that you won player there? Um, I seen it on a tweet. Uh, you know, uh, the guy told me and, uh, when I was getting my actors date and, you know, they congratulated me. And, you know, it's just a great accomplishment to have. You think on Arizona State and Stanford, two teams that are going to be an 8 9 seed, but they both played you guys pretty close. Does that raise your guys? Kind of intensity level going in, knowing it's two teams that have given you a run. Yeah, you know those are two totally different teams. One of them is you know great scoring team, can shoot outside very well, and the other team is the total opposite with rebounding and grit and grind. And uh, you know we're ready for both, and uh, whatever comes our way is, is uh, we're going to focus on them for that day and, and get it and get the job done. It'll be a new arena for you guys this year. You guys had some success in the old place, but you. Coach said he'd taken the virtual tour of the arena. Have you kind of looked to see what that place is like? Um, I've seen, like? seen it in one game against uh, the Warriors were playing. You know, it's a pretty big arena, you know, bigger crowds. You know, I like them, and our team loves them, and we uh, feed off that energy, and, you know. What's the secret for three games in three days and being ready and rested for that third one? Um, it's just focus every day and focusing on that one game and, uh, you know, Tackling that game at, at, at that time, never looking uh, before. And luckily, we're the first seed, so we don't have to look before us or anything. Uh, we can look after. So, um, you know, it's just being prepared, being focused, and, um, you know, coming day and out, you know, playing your role to the best of your ability. Did you bring that other hand? That noon start odd at all on that week there? Uh, no, we, you know, I, I played it last year with, you know, some of the guys, and we had a couple noon starts uh, this year in our, in our tournament, so it's not really new. It's just getting up earlier and getting ready to play. Do you guys feel like you're playing for maybe a number one seed or at least the top seed out of the Pac-12 to stay west if you guys can win this tournament or maybe whoever wins the tournament gets Yeah, that. Yeah, we know. We know that uh, it's gonna, the west is going to be decided on who wins the Pac-12, uh, who stays on the west side of the three top teams. And, uh, you know, we want to be that. So we have, uh, you know, home fans and, you know, a lot of energy. And we know what's at stake and, you know, we're trying to win out. Averaging 21 a game over your last seven, is kind of like fully engaged and you're, you're in full rhythm right now offensively. Everything's going well with it for you right now. Or is it just kind of how the game's played out? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just so locked in, and uh, you know, if it's, it starts by me and it trickles down to everybody else. You know, if I'm locked in and ready to play every day and every time practice, you know, it's just gonna uh, just follow the leader. And uh, you know, guys are getting ready every day. You know, Jordan. Chris, Dylan are getting ready every day, and it just trickles down to everybody else. So, you know, it brings a full mindset to uh, to the game.